In this video, let us see how to clone this website in terminal. We will clone all the HTML files, CSS, JavaScript, including all the images. This is not a static page like the single page. It is a dynamic one. When you click on the about, it will redirect to the about page. You can see that it redirects to the about page. When you click on the form again, it will redirect to the form page. Let us see how to clone this dynamic website. Not only you can clone this website, you can clone any premium templates. When you go to the theme forest to get any premium template, or the Envoto market, you can see we have a lot of premium templates available out there. If you click on the live review, we get a preview of this website. You can clone this website for free without paying anything. You can see it has all the beautiful templates. We will clone all the HTML files, CSS, including the images. You can see the price of this template is about the $69. But we will clone this for free. I will give you the demo on this internaq.live website because this is the website that I want so I have the ability to show you how to clone this website. Let us see how to clone this website. For that we need a tool called wget. Just type wget download. This is the software that you need to download if you are a Windows user. If you are using Linux, the wget is pre-installed so you don't have to download anything. Depending on your built version, download that. So if you are using the Windows version, you will have to download the software. So I am using a Linux. Here, so let me open up the terminal. If I type wget hyphen v, you can see we get a message like this. That means the wget is installed successfully. So if you use the wget help command, you can see these are the flags that we can use along with the wget command. I will provide a link of this in the description. You can read it out. So we need to use a command to download a full website. For this, I will provide the link of this, this repository in the description. You can check that out. Click on this wget.txt file. Inside this, we have the wget command. So, this is the command that we're gonna use to clone the website, including all the files like the HTML, CSS, JavaScript with the images. If you want to get the meaning for each flag, I will provide a detailed description here. The mirror flag enables us to mirror the website with multiple options and prevent the site structure. The convert links will enable the all the HTML files are available for option. The ex adjust extension makes sure that the all the files are saved according to their access cell. The HTML file is saved in .html and CSS. The page, you can read the contents here. I will leave the link of this file in the description. You can check that out. Here in the URL, we will have to replace it with the URL that we want to clone. For example, this is the website that we're going to cover. You can use a premium template if you want. Just click on arrive. Review and copy this URL. But I will show you how to clone this website. So let me copy this website link and paste that here. You can pl place the website of the premium template if you want, but I will stick to this. Before we clone the website, let's create a folder now. Make the AR. First, let's dump to the desktop. I'll be I'm gonna create a folder called the Intern IQ Clone Tutorial. Inside this folder, we're gonna Copy all the files. So let me jump into that folder that I have created. So let's copy the wget commands now. Let me go to the GitHub repository. Inside the wget text file, we have the command. So this is the command. Let me co copy that command and paste that here. And we will have to replace the URL for that. Again, let me copy this website URL and paste that here. When you press enter, it will download all the individual HTML files from the Website, you can see it starts downloading the HTML files. It will download all the, you can see that it downloads the CSS, the static files. Just give you a few minutes, it will download all the necessary data we need for the half lane viewing. You can see that it downloads all the media files as well. Images, index.html, we have the privacy policy, everything, the JavaScript file also. Just give you a few minutes, it will take around four to five minutes. Depending on the size of the website, it will take up at least four to five minutes. If the website is about the big, then it will take 10 minutes, but it will download all the files and exit. So I will leave this for a minute and continue after the process. You can see now all the pages has been successfully saved, converting links in the folder. So let me clear the screen. Let's open up the folder to see all the files. So if you go to the desktop, we have a folder called the Internet IK Clone Tutorial. If you go inside this folder, we have all the HTML files here. For see, we have the contact the HTML and cancellation policy.html, my course.html. 
let's open up the index.html to see the home page of this website here you can see we have successfully cloned the website you can see this is the file path in the we are not viewing it online we are viewing it offline here you can see if we click on about we will redirect to the about page the all the contents are similar to the original website that if we click on contact us my course you can see all the contents are preserved so let me click on back if you want to see the media files you can do that but let's see the css files now here we have the css files and inside the js we have the js files and inside the here in the accounts we have the index.html file for the login here in the media files we have all the images here now so yeah this is it this is the all the files from the template if i click on courses you can see we have all the courses here so let me close that one so let's open up this in vs code to edit something let me open this up in vs code to change the contents of this subset i'm gonna open this current folder in the vs code here you can see this is the all the files let's click on the index.html you can see the all the text files has been displayed here this is the script file here you can see all the bootstrap templates let's try to change something and so let me change this form to form clone to see if we can make any edit let me copy the file url of this file right click on the folder and copy the absolute path so let me copy that path and go to the website and paste it in the url tab let me replace it and press enter you can see the text has been replaced so this is how you clone your website with the help of this wget command so this is the command that we have used i will provide the link of this description in the check here if you can also download this live review so let me tell this if the live review or work or not not only this thing for us you can go to any website just type premium templates there are lots of websites available there let's click on the live review you can see the, the the cost of this website is about 15 dollars but we will download this website for free with the help of this wget tool 